Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Vivs from Slide Nerd here. In this video, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. So we are going to solve this real world problem which we have in front of us using object oriented Java. This will be the first problem where I'm gonna teach you guys how to think, how to make classes out of this problem, how to make methods and how to actually solve this in the real professional way people expect you to do them. So here the problem says a car has a certain fuel efficiency mileage certain amount of fuel in the gas tank initial fuel level is zero simulate driving the car for a certain distance reducing the amount of fuel and also find a way to get the current amount of fuel and fill gas in the tank ensure that you take the car's mileage into account for all this now this is a real world problem what you're asked is to drive a car programmatically or you can say just simulate driving a car and see what happens to the fuel that's what you're supposed to do so when you look at a problem like this if you're a beginner you're probably stuck confused wondering where to start how to start let me show you what is the first thing you do when you see a problem like this first thing find nouns this might be the weirdest thing you ever heard on any video on YouTube but this is the place where you actually start doing stuff car fuel gas tank gasoline these are the nouns that I find in this problem over here. Step 2. Use one word for those with the same meaning. For example, gas and gasoline are the same words. I mean they have the same meaning. So we use a single word for them. Step 3. Find those words which are closest to the problem you are trying to solve and represent a real world object. Now if you notice in our problem, we are trying to solve the problem of driving a car programmatically which means car is the word from here which is closest to our problem and it also represents a real world object remember fuel gas tank they are close but they are not as close because we are actually driving a car right so that means car is the one which is the real closest word next ask yourself two questions what properties does the car have what actions does the car perform or what actions can you perform with the car so the car has a mileage which has been given here in the problem which says a car has a certain fuel efficiency or mileage right it says it has a certain amount of fuel in the gas tank so we can have amount of fuel then it also has a fuel capacity because remember you cannot just keep adding fuel inside the car it is obvious that the car has a certain fuel limit inside its tank right what actions does the car perform or what actions can you perform with the car now think about this with respect to the problem over here for that you can find the verbs if you see here it says reducing the amount of gasoline in the tank find a way to get the current amount of fuel and also fill gas in the tank fill gas in the tank and that shows us our first clue which says add gas to the car that is what you can perform with the car right what else can you do with the car you can drive the car which is the, our main problem which is simulate driving the car for a certain distance right so these are the properties and actions associated with the main car object in our problem so now that we know what the variables are what the methods are we can further dig and think about this in a further angle so you see driving the car is no piece of joke as our problem is consistent right you drive the car what happens our fuel keeps decreasing so we have to take this decrease into the picture and show the user or you can say show the person what happens in the program so let's just figure out how the driving mechanism works let's say your mileage is 20 kilometers per liter now if you're westerners then you probably use miles per gallons or something but being an Asian guy I'm familiar with kilometers per liter so 20 kilometers you can drive 20 kilometers in one liter so how many liters of petrol you need for driving 100 kilometers it's a simple child's mathematic problem right you simply cross stuff and you say x is 100 by 20 which is 5 liters now what is x x is the fuel you needed to drive 100 kilometers or you can say x is the fuel required 100 kilometers is the distance to be traveled in our case and this 20 kilometers per liter was the mileage so you can say that fuel required is distance to be traveled divided by mileage now this is the formula which I have just developed right in front of you 
I'm going to be using this formula in the main Java program in NetBeans and figure out exactly what happens to fuel when I start driving the car. In the next video, we are going to go into NetBeans, try to solve this problem like a real object-oriented Java programmer would do. In the meantime, if you guys like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next bit. Have a nice day.